We've taken a, a 2,000 student comprehensive high school, sort of the old model high school, and we've broken it into smaller learning communities, which for the student means they are now part of a smaller school of no more than 400 kids. These schools are themed schools, basically based on uh, interests, learning styles. Engineering and skilled trades. Business, finance, and marketing. Math, science, and technology. Leadership and public service. Visual and performing arts. Health science. So I'm still not sure what I want to do, but I've just picked a school based on kind of what I enjoy doing and how I enjoy learning. You get all the classes that you need. You can take the maths and sciences that you want to take. Um, and it's not so much about um, focusing you in one thing where that's all you can do, but it's kind of letting you explore that more in depth. It's very important to have a, um, the school care about what you're going to go into in your future because they help you out a lot. They give you pathways, ways to learn new things. So The skill trades are pretty fun, and I, I think I go to college for about two years, two or three years. I had friends whose parents worked at Eaton, um, at Abbott, at one of the textile mills. The students that I teach today, those opportunities aren't there for their parents or for them in the future. For most of our students in the future, a high school diploma will not be enough. They will have to have some kind of college to get a job if they plan to stay in Scotland County because the, the the limited jobs that we have here will require some kind of technology knowledge, some kind of ability to read and write and communicate. Uh, people changing jobs constantly, people having to go back to school and get recertified or uh, learn new skills, learn a new job. So I think that the high school diploma is a minimal requirement. This is not a quick fix. It takes time. For the most part, it is working. Um, it's working to the degree that I, I know that we can never go back to, to what we did before. Because in a sense, what we were doing before wasn't working, for sure. If I was one out of 2,000 students here, I don't think I would be doing as well as I'm doing now. I think the small learning communities do help with discipline because like, students are actually interested in what they are studying in class, they won't act up. And you can just tell that there are more kids interested in their education. Everybody is getting prepared. It's not just, you know, focusing on a group of people. It's everybody they're working towards preparing for the future. We really have opened up their eyes to the opportunities that they have with a college diploma or with a, at least a two-year degree that they wouldn't have thought about five years ago. And we wouldn't have thought about for them five years ago. We simply would have said, this child has weak skills in math, this child has weak skills in, in reading or in writing, and so a high school diploma is the best this, this student can do. And we would have not stressed those opportunities that with a little extra work on some skills, we could have gotten a better result for them. Like I walk up to my principal, he knows me person for person. He knows person for person. If you go to a school and they got 2,000 students, one principal, the principal doesn't know every student. I think I have a, a better um, relationship with my teachers than I would if I was in like the bigger high school. And they like not having to re-explain and not having to fill out the same information or having you to learn their learning habits all over again. The teachers uh, were able to talk about students and if I've got a particular insight, or if they have a particular insight, if something has worked for them, they're able to share that with me. So having the same kids on the same hall, it makes it easier for the student, but it also makes it easier for the teachers. I've had to think of my course not simply being my course, but as a part of a whole. I never saw it as what I do in my class can help my students when they take the civics EOC or that what I do in my class can help them in their Algebra two class in some way because I teach them grammar skills and they're using the same parts of their brains to work on those problems that they do in Algebra. 
I feel sometimes that my role as, a, as an educator has turned into a, that of a manager. It's not the teacher standing in front of the room as the fount of all knowledge. It's the idea that I am facilitating or managing or directing or guiding students into discovering information to acquire the skills that they need. Well, the project-based learning is all about uh, taking like a real-life problem and using it to, you know, learn about your, you know, your core objectives that you need to learn. It's definitely more fun when you participate doing a project instead of listening to somebody, you know, talk or lecture. In civics, we are writing our own constitution for the School of Business, Finance, and Marketing. And we'll set regulations like the Constitution does, and if you want to change it, you have to follow these rules, just like you have to do with the Constitution. Trust me, in English and, and physical science, U.S. history, they push you to the limit. I will actually get to go out into either a veterinarian office or, work, or a doctor's office and work either one that I prefer to work in, and I will learn the different routines and day-to-day -day schedule and stuff, so I'm getting excited about that. Now, We've just offered them something different so that those top students do have opportunities that we didn't offer them before when we just had AP classes. When you have a school that's, that's trying to focus on excellence everywhere, everyone benefits. I don't see that any, like the schools have had any effect on, you know, kids playing sports or doing extra curricular activities. I don't see how that's affected, you know, anything after school. So you come out here on pep rally days, you'll definitely see a lot of school spirit out here. This stuff had to be talked about in churches, in, in Walmart, in the grocery stores. Everybody has to have an understanding of what's happening here in order for it to work. What we'd like to see while we're changing and evolving as a school, we'd like to see our community also change and evolve uh, in terms of what it has to offer.